marry him? Of course you do. It's just a logical partnership, bro. Take me with you. who made his stride onto the big screen both in Coneheads as a jerk on the golf course and True Lies as a lovable scoundrel, he seemed to be on a stellar course. They were in a marriage to Roseanne and things could not be going better for Mr. Ronald. What better time to go off and star in your own film? Nothing could possibly go wrong with this course of action, unless of course a project you chose had nothing but stupidity to offer, but what are the odds that- They couldn't even take it out of the title! Before you even start the film, there's a huge strike against anyone wanting to watch it. You're literally calling the entire concept stupid, a term which Merriam-Webster's dictionary defines as very dull in mind. That's an apt description for this because it's very dull in most minds, if it's present at all. Let's just get the stupidity over with. That was seriously the first joke. They sleep the wrong way, and yet they don't suffocate in their sleep. Much to our dismay. How did the stupids get to be so stupid? It's literally their last name, I know, but they can't have always been this way. The car won't start. Maybe the battery's dead. It was perfectly healthy this afternoon. Well, then maybe it's got some life left in it. I better give it mouth to mouth. How do they ever start the car in the morning? They don't realize that the ignition needs the key. All right, I see what they're trying to do here, and actually, the concept is very well executed. These people are entirely stupid. Their last name is stupid, their actions are stupid, every single thing about them screams, I am the epitome of stupidity. For instance, the garbage was stolen is one of their main plots. Whoa, alrighty. But if that is really something, that their garbage being stolen is something that they care about, why do they always put it out on the curb? Their house should not look like this, it should look like this. Yes, they would be that family down the street that you shouldn't send your kids over to because they might get lost in the pile. And the fact that every member of the family is as stupid as they possibly can be, this can't be an accident. Not only is there a lack of trash piled up everywhere, but the rest of the neighborhood, it looks pretty normal compared to it. Their house is not fraught with terrible choices. It's just bright, colorful like any normal family. But, you know, they're stupid. Oh. The police have kidnapped my children! My theory, as dark as this is, is that they all suffered nigh-fatal carbon monoxide poisoning. A week prior to this plot, they suddenly had one of those nights that should have killed the family, but instead left them almost essentially brain dead. There's no other way they could have a house with a mortgage and a family if they can't even process the basics like this. Mom! They decided to go with every stupid joke they could. The problem is, they chose their horse very poorly. As an example, let's say an artist chooses feces as their medium for a 700-foot statue. Yes, it's sculpted and beautiful and everything is right in its place. And what do people say? Wow, what an enormous pile of crap. See, medium is very important. It insults every part of my higher functions, and I... Watch this. Dad? Petunia? So this is heaven. Dad, someone's coming. It's time to meet our creator. Hail to thee, O oh Lord. Actually, it's pronounced Lloyd. All these years we've been saying it wrong. This movie is supposed to be accepted at face value. There is absolutely no reason to dig deeper than the surface because the surface is all there is. For example, when the family comes together to meet to discuss the problem, Stanley Stupid finally reveals to them the true nature of Sender, the main villain. Here's what Stanley Stupid thinks Mr. Sender is. Desperate men will roam the streets with empty wastebaskets. Panic and chaos will rule the land. The precious balance of civilization will be destroyed, and then the 
world will come begging for mercy to me. Here's what he's actually talking about. Seems like an incredible amount of letters are being delivered to somebody named Sender. Who is this Sender? And what is he doing with other people's mail? I believe that this calls for a full-scale investigation. Yeah. Credit to the movie, though, the hallucination sequence where Stanley Stupid is sitting there discussing exactly what he thinks is going on is the only part worth watching again. Oh my goodness, if every stupid person's fantasies were this elaborate, I'd have a lot more fun talking to Bacchus. So they commit to it, they drive it, and guess what? It's unfulfilling. You're delivering on a promise no one wanted you to make. Every dumb moment you could possibly conceive is there. Some you couldn't even imagine are there. And then there's the superhero sequence. Yes, remember the Lloyd? Yes, <laughs> the Lloyd. <laughs> he told them one piece of advice. Throw your gum in the trash when you're done chewing. I spent a huge amount of my time cleaning up gum. That's so Stanley Stupid in this scene could do this. There's no way he's leaving here alive. Isn't that right, Mr. Stupid? In the name of the Lord! single thing you could do wrong as far as committing to a concept without really thinking it through. Oh wait, that's the whole premise of the film! There is so much more I could mention. There is so much more I could just blatantly spoil. But the problem is I'm not really spoiling a plot, no. I'm spoiling these individual instances of stupidity becoming reality. Yes, the stupids is trying to make you live stupidity. There is no reward for this, because you don't ask any questions. There is no thought that goes into any part of this movie. You do not sit there and go, well, I wonder how this is going to work out, because it follows format and formula to a fault. We know the good guys are going to win. We know the bad guys are going to lose. Even though the good guys should in no way win, there's absolutely no surprise when they do, because everything's just turning up aces for them. Nothing was thought through here. They are stupid without regard, without remorse, and Ultimately, I feel like I've been punished for this. Oh yes, that's the entire point of this, isn't it? I'm being punished for trying. Why? Actually, it's a good point. Tom Arnold, why? Why would you agree to do this? Why would you want to do something so outlandishly stupid and thought out in no detail that it would obviously tank your career? Why would you do this? Chris Elliott, I ask you the same question. Why would you agree to Cabin Boy? Daniel Stern, looking at you too. You all, all of you. Why would they strike out on their own when obviously their first step out the door is going to make them fall flat on their face? How could someone be so committed to something that's going to fail? And now you've learned the lesson. What? Think on what you just said. Think on it long, and think on it hard. Oh, God. I'm one of them. Ah, oh, the last horse finally crosses the finish line. Why would you do this? Psycho, the first step on the road to enlightenment is the full realization of what you are. You now have your first piece of the puzzle. This is cruel and unusual, and I don't have to stand for it. You do. I think I've proven that time and again. At least give me something to work with here. I mean, I'm dealing with films that, oh my god, time itself is wanting to forget these, is trying to rub these middle 90s out. Why? Can't you give me something a little more recent? Something with people, you know, that have a career still. Recent? With actual actors? Your wish is granted. I, Frankenstein? Last year's Fantastic Four. Enjoy. I asked for it. I literally asked for this. I asked to have this. I always thought it was terrible to be forced, but Maybe asking for the wall, bullet is so much worse. Wall, so much worse. Yeah, no. You know who you are. Yeah. 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 
Ich bin auch sehr gut. 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 Ich bin auch seh